A deal is a deal, right? But what happens when one of the people involved in that deal has just been arrested for committing fraud in six Bay Area counties? That's when you call Aid on Your Side investigator Mark Douglas, which is exactly what a homeowner in Hillsborough County did. Mark did some digging, and what a good call that turned out to be. When the owner of this house signed up for a new roof paid for by insurance, she had no idea who was behind that deal. Now she does, and she wants out of it. The roofing subcontractor and former owner of Dimensional Construction, the company Kathy Summers signed that deal with, is Eric Shane Johnson. Why would I want to do business with that kind of person? Johnson is one of eight people arrested for organized fraud involving another roofing company called NBRC Construction. Eight on Your Side reported a year ago that NBRC ripped off homeowners in six counties by pocketing insurance claims and either not paying roofers and suppliers or not doing any work at all. So who can blame Kathy Summers for not wanting Johnson involved in the replacement of her storm-damaged roof in Lutz? I don't want to be a part of that. The trouble is that a staff member at Dimensional Construction's offices in Palmetto kept telling Summers she'd face a penalty for breaking the contract. If I wanted to cancel the contract, there was going to be a 20% cancellation fee on the amount. That didn't sound right, so we drove to Palmetto on Summers' behalf. Let me call my manager. Sure, can we wait in your lobby here? No, no outside. Room? Yeah, outside, please. Why is that? Um, yes, wait outside. We never saw her again, and no one would answer the office phones. But what do you know? By day's end, Dimensional suddenly agreed in writing to let Summers out of her contract without any penalty after all. She doesn't have to pay a dime. Problem solved. Getting thrown out of Dimensional Construction's offices seemed a bit unprofessional to us, but in the end, it all worked out. In Palmetto. I'm Mark Douglas, News Channel 8. Eric Johnson will not be installing Kathy Summers' roof, but he's free to work on anyone else's. Despite his arrest for fraud and four pending complaints with state regulators, his Florida license is current and active.